A 2022 study found the amount of solar installed by K through 12 schools has tripled since 2015. This year, Plymouth Community Schools was added to the list. At Riverside Intermediate, we interrupted this class. So obviously you can see the cameras are here. To see how the sun is helping turn light bulbs on. So let's go back to our agenda. For students and quite literally for the school building. And I'm gonna turn on the light. Three, two, one. Plymouth Community Schools is powering some of its classrooms in part from the sun. On sunny days, these solar arrays outside Riverside and Washington Discovery Academy are soaking up the sun using its energy to power the schools and saving up what it doesn't use. I think when you operate a million square feet of buildings and have 200 acres of property, you need to, to be as environmentally conscientious as you can. That's Plymouth Schools Director of Facilities, Dave Schoaf. Thank you for the opportunity to come in this evening and talk to the board. It's Schoaf awesome. updated the school board last week. The board initially approved a bond for the project. More than a million dollars of that money has gone toward this solar project. The question is always, you put a million dollars in, right? Yeah. Have you, has it paid itself? It hasn't and, yet. But right now, the data shows it will eventually. Energy costs at the two schools are already lower. The district's NIPSCO invoice data shows Washington did not consume any electric whatsoever for four months. This means money not spent heating, cooling, and powering the buildings can be put into educating students instead. This is the business side of school. I think we have to be good at this side so we can have opportunities to be great on the other side. Would you recommend this to other school districts? Absolutely. Yeah, anytime that you can uh, uh, save money. I mean, it's a, an efficiency. We're always looking for efficiencies. So anytime you can save money and then put it back to do something good for students, yeah, I would, I would recommend that. For now, and even on cloudy days, classrooms, hallways, and computers in Washington and Riverside are being powered in part by the sun. The hope is more schools in the district will eventually get plugged in too. District leaders say they expect to get around $500,000 from the Biden tax credit or the Inflation Reduction Act. They say that money will likely be used to bring more schools online. In the studio, Kristen Bean, WSBT 22 News.